Today I fucked up by trying to explain to my BF why I was horny. On mobile so forgive me if the formatting is weird. Also English is not my first language. Quick backstory, I, F23, stopped hormonal birth control a few months ago due to some minor health issues. The change of my hormonal equilibrium was pretty awful, but on a bright note, my libido increased quite a lot. My BF, M24, is a bit overworked and tired so his libido is a bit lower than the usual. Try to not stress him about it even if it's frustrating when one feels horny 24-7 and the other one would be okay with having sex once a week. Well today I texted him during his lunch break that I really wished he was at home with me. Then I thought I could sound insensitive and trying to explain why I was suddenly almost sexting him I fucked up and I texted you know. Since I came off birth control I can tell if I'm on my fertile window based upon my mood. And I just checked, I'm ovulating, that's why I'm feeling like this today. It's like my body's saying let's have this kid. We are not even sure we want kids, and my text looked like I was thinking about it, so I fucked up harder and texted again I'm not saying we should try to conceive I was just stating why I'm horny. He replied noted on my agenda. Too long didn't read, tried to justify I was in the mood for sex by saying I was ovulating to my BF, when we are not even sure we want kids, and killing the possible mood of the night. Edit, I appreciate that some of you you want to help me and try to suggest things to balance my needs versus his temporary lack of interest, but I don't need these suggestions. It's a phase, it will pass, our sex life has always been adventurous and fulfilling, at the moment I'm the one making the first step etc. As a guy who is rarely in the mood I can relate to your BF. My GF texts me a lot about being horny and it makes me feel bad because I rarely am. And we also don't want kids or to get married and she will text similar stuff. Just makes me feel like I'm not good enough and kinda shitty so I can relate. I can't talk for your GF, but I never considered my BF not good enough just because we have different libidos. Sex is fun and I love it but being with my favorite person in the world is better, even if it means means a little less sex than I'd prefer. Ouch, I can just imagine that situation. I'm glad that you're not trying to stress your BF on purpose, but it has to be hard sometimes. NGL, sometimes it is. But we've been together for more than 8 years, so just a few months won't kill me. It's just the bad timing of our libidos, if it makes sense. If you decide to have kids call me, I'll happily prepare and cook it for you. This post right here officer. You need to make it noted that the train to Pound Town is leaving, and you're not gonna ride IT. Well, you have a BF a little heart attack there. Today I fucked up by anesthetizing my balls. I'm one of those people that never goes to the doctor if there's a chance that just waiting another few days will fix the issue. Well I finally went to doctor after having worst sore throat of my life for the last 7 to 10 days, he just looked and said wow, that must be painful, you didn't want to come sooner? He says it was strep throat and gives me medicine and a throat freezing spray for immediate relief. I head home, do a few sprays, feels good, then start working. After an hour I thought I'd give it another spray, put my hand in my pocket for the spray and my only thought is crap, I've pissed myself. My pants were soaked. Only possible explanation was that I'd somehow unbeknownst to me pissed myself. I was then both relieved and annoyed to find out it was my bottle of throat spray that had slowly leaked out, and it had apparently numbed my whole crotch area so that's why I didn't feel it getting wet. I had a chuckle, didn't think too much of it, then realized I couldn't feel my dick at all, like nothing. I went to the bathroom to investigate, I could still pee, so things were still working somewhat, had to investigate further, no pleasurable sensations at all, so I'm beginning to fear the worst, so I think it's time to get drastic and decide I need to see if there's any feeling at all so I flick the head pretty hard with my finger, nothing, again, but harder, nothing, I give it everything this time and feel the tiniest tingle, I then see the head start turning purple and visibly growing, I realize I've made a huge mistake, but one that only got worse as the anesthetic wore off in the next tower and I had a massively bruised throbbing purple head for the next 3 days. TL, doctor don't self freeze your dick cry anesthetic then keep flicking it to test how strong the anesthetic is. 
Well, at least it wasn't icy hot. That would be worse according to an buddy of mine. Buddy of yours. Oof, I wish you a speedy recovery. Sorry, but that's your new fetish. You missed a great chance to have a marathon sexy time session with either yourself or a lady. Crap, I've pissed myself frown. Today I fucked up by wasting a 911 dispatcher's time. This happened a while ago but the story is too good. I was 18 and home alone. My mom said we are going to Ohio, we'll be home in a few days which was alright enough. Fast forward to that night it's 1am and I hear the front door open, feet stomping around and clanging. I hid in the closet with my phone and dialed 911. I talked with the dispatcher and told her that my house was being broken into, and within a minute I could see police car lights flashing through the window into my room. The officer asked me if I saw the intruder and told her no, my family was out of town and went to Ohio, and I was home alone. I heard a knock at the door and heard the door open, I thought that the intruder left it unlocked and maybe an officer was inside. Then the dispatcher asks, do you know a Sean? And I told her that Sean is my dad. The dispatch officer then told me Sean just answered the front door and let the officer in. Are you able to go downstairs? I went downstairs and immediately apologized in tears. Apparently when my mom said we are going to Ohio she meant my uncle. Aunt and her were going to Ohio and my dad had just gotten off a night shift to be greeted by the police. Too long didn't read, I called the cops on my dad because I thought the whole family went out of town. But he was just coming coming home from a night shift and I thought he was an intruder. Good thing you weren't one of those good guys with a gun, or this today I fucked up would be about the time you fucked up by turning your dad's head into a canoe. I feel like the title should be today I fucked up by calling the cops on my dad because as the operator commented, you wasted no one's time. Had your house really been broken into you would have been saved from that, but thankfully it was just your dad. Smile. Yeah that would have been a better title. I think it's just the embarrassment that I called the police for no reason that led to it being named what I called it. It was partially your mother's fault for not clarifying who she meant by we. Also you did what you felt was right at the time without putting yourself in danger so good job. Honestly, if my mom said the same thing, I would have assumed my dad would be with her. I'm a dispatcher who absolutely did not waste anyone's time. Literally what we get paid to do. And had you not called, and it not been your dad. Absolutely better safe than sorry. Reading what a few dispatchers are saying in the comments has made me feel much better about what happened. I felt so guilty for taking up a phone line when someone else could have been talking to dispatch but I feel very reassured being told I did the right thing given the situation. My dad still won't stop teasing me about this though. Dad's gonna dad macron backslash underscore underscore slash macron.